This is one of my latest gardening projects, which helps me to get an early start in the growing season. It's a raised bed made of treated wood, and this treated wood contains no arsenic. And I placed it on cinder blocks to reduce the amount of bending that I have to do to reach my plants. Now the dimensions are 4 by 12 foot or 48 square feet of growing area and the soil depth is about 10 inches deep. And based on my calculations, I needed about 39 cubic feet of soil to completely fill it. Now I decided to use a commercial potting media to fill it, but you could use screen compost to mix with your potting soil to reduce the cost. And I would suggest you could use up to 50% compost and that would be acceptable. Now I chose to use miracle Grow potting soil, which in our area sells for about $11 for four cubic feet. So the total cost to fill this box was about $110. The other materials that I used to construct the bed, such as the wood, the plastic PVC pipe, screws, plastic for covering was about $120. So the total for this project was $230. Now it should last at least 10 years, not including changing the plastic every now and then, which isn't going to be a very large cost. But that brings my cost down to an annual cost of $23. Now over a season, I know I can grow easily more than $23 in produce, which means that this project will pay for itself in savings at the grocery store. Now one comfort mistake that I made was the fact that this bed is a little bit wide. It's about four feet wide and reaching toward the back can be a bit of a strain. Now as you can see in the background here, uh, my collard greens, which I planted back in March, are ready to harvest already. And I also have some cilantro that's ready and I also have some green onions that are up and growing. And I have some additional space that I can put some other things in here also. Now normally I can't get into my garden until mid-May, sometimes even later due to the amount of rain that we have and the wetness of the soil in the spring. Uh, certainly if I am able to get in earlier, like in say early May or mid-May, those plants must be protected in, uh, from frost until about Memorial Day, which is in the May. That varies from various parts of Michigan, but for us, uh, we have to protect our plants up until that time. Now, our growing season here in this area is from May to late September. Sometimes we get into early October, depending on when we get frost and whether we're having a warm fall or not. Now, with this bed, I'm able to plant certain crops such as onions and carrots and various herbs and greens from March until November and possibly into December if we have a fairly mild uh, fall. I plan to make a net covering for this. It's currently plastic, but the reason I want to put a net covering is when this is down, it can get very hot inside here. It can get over 100 degrees. Well, it's nice when it's 40 degrees outside and it's 70 to 80 degrees under here, but during the summer months, it can get too warm. So what I'm going to do is make a net covering, which will allow me to grow various crops while minimizing their exposure to certain insects. Also, I currently water this bed by hand, but what I plan on doing is adding a trickle irrigation hose and putting it on a timer and pre-program it so that I won't even have to worry about watering it. You know, it's the things that a gardener won't do to keep their hands in the soil and tending their little babies. It has no limit. And this project has made me very happy and I'm going to enjoy harvesting over a much wider period of time than I normally would be. So give it a try if you can afford to do this and uh, I thank you for watching. Thank you.